Since the last decade, African railways have been undergoing major transformations and experiencing a much needed revival, almost exclusively due to Chinese investment. From Nairobi to Mombasa and from Addis Ababa to Djibouti, China's investing, developing, building, and in some cases operating railroads that are changing Africa's logistics game. Even though many railways drive past exotic safari lodges and even the East African desert, these major projects are more than mere engineering marvels. Despite the critics and different geolitical perspectives, one has to admit that a shifting equilibrium in construction has been always caused by strong civilizations, economic opportunities, international alliances, and soft power. It's undoubtedly one of the key drivers of development. Welcome to the Apex Channel. Our topic today is the construction of a railway in Africa by China. Surely you're interested in the progress of this project and why China is building so far from home. So stay with us and learn a lot of new things until the end of the video. But before that, obey the speed click rule, like, subscribe, bell. Now we can start. Since the establishment of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation in 2000, railway construction has become a priority in the two sides cooperation, especially after the implementation of the Belt and Road Initiative. So far, more than 6,000 kilometers of railways have been built in the continent within the China-Africa cooperation framework, injecting new impetus into local economic and social development. At the same time, improved transportation has created favorable conditions for transnational cooperation that have enhanced African countries' independent development capabilities. Chinese investment in Africa has increased dramatically from 75 million US dollars in 2003 to 2.7 billion US dollars by 2019. The building now accounts for more than 30% of China's investment in Africa. Two of China's largest projects in East Africa are the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway and the Kenya Standard Gauge Railway. Consequently, it was the first Chinese powered railway project in East Africa as it required the conversion of an obsolete aging meter gauge railway construction supervised by China Road and Bridge Corporation, included the construction of large viaducts, deep excavations, and lengthy embankments to explore the route's challenging terrain. Developing a project of this size amid Kenya's gorgeous natural environments has proven to be a tougher balancing act than one might assume. A conservation group opposes two sections of the train that run through national parks citing concerns that they can endanger wildlife. By raising portions of the railway and adding 14 wildlife passages, designers continue to respond to wildlife needs. A completed railway system is a game changer for both trade and transportation in the area. Over 5 million tons of cargo were handled by locomotives supplied by China. African railways are becoming a key part of the China Belt and Road Initiative and mid-term will connect the continent's commodities to different regions, potentially enhancing the value chain of the natural resources sector. A major reason why China's infrastructure development strategy appeals to African countries is that China not only provides financial assistance, but also represents a one-stop shop for everything related to a project. However, it still faces challenges in terms of capital, talent, and technology, particularly because of the way the COVID-19 pandemic has hit the economies in Africa. Against this backdrop, China can be a good partner offering its mature technologies, rich experience, and a complete industrial chain and railway construction and operation. Despite the broad prospects, the two sides have to pay attention to the following aspect. Railways are key to the continent's interconnectivity, a necessary premise for the integration of African countries. The cooperation will be carried out at the regional as well as national levels. For example, the railroads centered in Kenya and radiating to Uganda, South Sudan, Tanzania, and other places successfully constitute a railway network in Eastern Africa. It's greatly enhanced the connectivity of the region, laying a solid foundation for the connectivity of the whole continent. The joint construction of railways on the continent by China and Africa should aim at facilitating Africa's industrialization and urbanization. As a booster of industrial development, railways accelerate urbanized progress and enhance rural conditions. 
Hence, the cooperation needs to keep in mind urbanization plans to optimize the industrial layout. Railway construction could be a facet of an African country's strategic blueprint, including setting up economic corridors, stimulating employment, and improving people's well-being. Well, it's nice that China and Africa have cooperated because it was very necessary for African countries. They can't be financed and built by themselves. That's why China has done a great job. These railway systems will be of great benefits to states and people and will contribute to development. Do you think so? Write what you think about this video in the comment section below and we'll be happy to read it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and turn on the notification to be notified when a new video is ready for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click like and share the video on your social media. That's it for today. We'll see you again soon. Have a great day.